Have you ever considered our world a hell? It's a provocative question, isn't it? Some see life through a rosy lens, while others perceive it as a realm of torment. This perspective, though controversial, provides a unique viewpoint on our human experience. It's not about pessimism, but rather a critical analysis of the world around us, a hellish perspective, if you will. It's time to step into the fire and face the heat. Today, we'll explore 10 compelling reasons to consider our world a hell. Firstly, let's ponder over the rampant injustice. It pervades every stratum of our society, making it seem as if we're living in a version of hell on earth. Injustice is not a new phenomenon, it's as old as human civilization itself. However, the increasing socio-economic disparities that we observe today are alarming. The wealth of the world is concentrated in the hands of a select few, while countless others languish in poverty. Let's not forget the racial and gender discrimination that continues to persist, despite the monumental strides we've made in the fight for equality. People are still judged, marginalized, and treated unfairly based on the color of their skin or their gender. Injustice takes many forms, and it's an unfortunate fact that it's deeply woven into the fabric of our world. It's a relentless, ubiquitous force that seems to be everywhere we turn. Injustice, thus, paints our world in a hellish light. Secondly, the environmental degradation holds a mirror to hell. Fathom the world around us, a cacophony of life, a symphony of biodiversity. Now imagine it silenced, the vibrant colors faded, the melodious notes of life extinguished. This is the impact of environmental degradation, a grim reality we grapple with today. Our relentless pursuit of progress has left gaping wounds on the face of our precious planet. The once verdant forests stand desolate, stripped bare by deforestation. The air, our life-giving breath, is choked with pollution. Our oceans, the cradle of life, are awash with plastic waste and toxins. The biodiversity that once thrived is now on the brink of extinction, victims to our insatiable greed. Climate change, a specter of our own creation, looms ominously. Our actions have set in motion a cycle of destruction that seems irreversible. In this, we see a reflection of a world bereft of life, a world scorched and barren. Our environment's degradation, is it not a glimpse of hell? Thirdly, the horrors of war and violence push us towards a hellish reality. Picture the chaos of a battlefield, the thunderous roars of gunfire, and the ominous shadows of fighter jets above. But it's not just about the physical wreckage, it's the emotional and psychological toll that scars the soul. The fear, the trauma, the loss, these are the unseen wounds of war. Consider the societal impact as well. Entire communities are uprooted, cultures erased, and generations burdened with the heaviness of history. War and violence breed hatred and mistrust, creating divides that may take centuries to bridge, if at all. And what about the individuals caught in the crossfire? Their lives are changed irrevocably, their dreams shattered, their futures uncertain. Their stories are a testament to the destructive power of conflict. So we see, war and violence are not just about nations and politics. They're about the human cost, the loss of innocence, and the disruption of peace. War and violence, aren't they reminiscent of hell? Fourthly, the widespread hunger and poverty is a hellish experience for many. This is a reality that we cannot shy away from. It's a haunting specter that casts a long, dark shadow over a significant part of humanity. Imagine the gnawing pain of an empty stomach, relentless and unyielding, day after day, night after night. Now think of the crushing weight of poverty, where the basic amenities of life, food, shelter, clothing, are luxuries out of reach. This is a grim reality for hundreds of millions across the globe. The irony is not lost on us that while we live in a world of abundance, we are still unable to feed everyone. It's a bitter pill to swallow, indeed. The juxtaposition of opulence and deprivation, of feast and famine, is truly a sobering reminder of the disparities that exist. The existence of hunger and poverty, does it not make our world seem hellish? Fifthly, the prevalence of disease and suffering contributes to our hellish world. From the common cold to life-altering conditions like cancer, diseases are a constant reminder of our vulnerability. They strike indiscriminately, leaving trails of pain and despair. But it's not just physical ailments that plague us. Mental health issues, often overlooked, are just as devastating. 
depression, anxiety, and other disorders can trap individuals in their own minds, creating personal hells that are often invisible to others. Moreover, the suffering caused by disease extends beyond the individual. Families are torn apart, dreams are shattered, and even societies can be destabilized. The COVID-19 pandemic, for instance, has vividly demonstrated how a single disease can disrupt the entire world, causing widespread suffering and death. And while medical science makes strides in combating these afflictions, new ones continually emerge, maintaining a cycle of suffering that seems never-ending. Disease and suffering, aren't they elements of a hellish existence? Sixthly, corruption fuels the fires of this hellish world. In a world where integrity should be the cornerstone of society, corruption gnaws relentlessly at its very foundations. It's a pervasive force, seeping into every corner of our societies, from the humblest of offices to the loftiest of governments. It's a nefarious cocktail of greed, deceit, and power, breeding inequality and fostering resentment. It's a beast that feeds on the vulnerable, robbing them of opportunities, skewing the playing field, and shielding the guilty. Corruption is the silent enemy, often unseen but deeply felt. It erodes trust, fuels cynicism, and leaves a bitter taste of injustice. It's a symptom of a deeper malaise, a reflection of a world where morals are often sacrificed at the altar of greed. Corruption, is it not a sign of a world gone hellish? Seventhly, ignorance is a hellish chain that binds us. This is not merely about the absence of knowledge, but also about the deliberate refusal to understand. It's a kind of mental inertia that holds us back from evolving, from empathizing, and from making informed decisions. Just think about it. How often do we turn a blind eye to the plight of others because it's more comfortable to remain in the dark? How frequently do we fall prey to misinformation because it confirms our biases rather than challenging them? And how many times do we choose to stay silent because speaking out requires knowledge, courage, and conviction? This is the ignorance we're talking about. It's the one that fuels prejudices, fosters inequality, and furthers the divide between us. It's the ignorance that makes us accept the world as it is, rather than as it could be. Ignorance, does it not make our world seem more like hell? Eighthly, the prevalence of fear and anxiety adds to our world's hellish nature. Unseen yet omnipresent, these twin demons of the mind can cripple not just individuals, but entire societies. Fear, a primal instinct, has been weaponized in our modern world, often used to manipulate and control, creating a culture of paranoia and distrust. Anxiety, on the other hand, a chronic apprehension of what's to come, keeps us on edge, robbing us of the joy in the present moment. These two, fear and anxiety, they dance together in a melancholic ballet, painting our world in shades of trepidation and dread. They stunt our growth, hinder our progress, and prevent us from living authentically. They create a pervasive sense of insecurity, leading to division, conflict, and a loss of shared humanity. We live in a world where fear and anxiety are normalized, even capitalized upon, and we are left grappling with their profound psychological impacts. Fear and anxiety, are they not hellish experiences? Ninthly, the loss of humanity in many aspects of life makes our world hellish. We see it manifest in a myriad of ways, from the smallest interactions to the grandest schemes. The pursuit of wealth and power often trumps empathy and compassion, creating a chasm between individuals and communities. Consider those who step on others to climb the corporate ladder, or nations that exploit weaker ones for resources, without regard for the human cost. This loss of humanity is also evident in our disregard for the needs of the less fortunate, as we often prioritize our comfort over their survival. The growing trend of isolation and individualism further fuels this loss, as we become more absorbed in our personal worlds, losing touch with the collective human experience. We see a world where kindness, compassion, and altruism are increasingly becoming rarities, replaced by greed, power, and selfishness. Loss of humanity, does it not make our world a hell? Tenthly, the disconnection we experience from each other and nature contributes to our hellish existence. We live in a world where it's easier to connect with someone thousands of miles away than it is to engage with our neighbors. This disconnection isn't just limited to human relationships, either. We've lost our connection with nature, too, treating it as a resource to be exploited, 
rather than a living entity to be respected. This lack of connection breeds a lack of empathy. We become indifferent to the suffering of others, and this indifference fuels the fires of our hellish world. It's easy to ignore injustice when it doesn't affect us directly. It's easy to turn a blind eye to environmental degradation when we don't feel a personal connection to nature. We're social creatures meant to connect with each other and the world around us. When we lose these connections, we lose a part of our humanity. Disconnection, is it not a crucial element of a hellish world? To wrap up, we've explored 10 reasons that might lead one to consider our world a hell. We've delved into rampant injustice, environmental degradation, war, violence, hunger, poverty, disease, suffering, corruption, ignorance, fear, anxiety, loss of humanity, and disconnection. These aspects of our existence, though harsh, are real. They challenge us, provoke us, and in their own twisted way, compel us to strive for better. Whether you agree or not, pondering upon these aspects might offer us a unique perspective and perhaps push us towards creating a heaven out of this hell.